town Uglegorsk was liberated by Novorossian forces last night. During cleans of town from remains of Kyiv troops, Alexander Zaharchenko made appeal to the Ukrainian soldiers. I ask you to give up. You fight for own people. Give up your weapons and go out. I guarantee you'll go home alive, he said. Kyiv's military are full surrounded in the Baltsovas pocket now. Ukraine's chief of general staff Viktor Muzhenko admitted there isn't Russian army in Ukraine. We are not fighting with the regular Russian army, said Muzhenko during an official briefing about the stance in Ukraine. Obama administration and NATO are very chagrined by this statement. Apparently, it was betrayal of Ukrainian government at its best friends. If Muzhenko couldn't say Russian army invaded Ukraine, he could at least blame Russian air forces in violating airspace of the country. By the way, Muzhenko could think about journalistic job market before briefing. What must the hundreds of Western and Ukrainian journalists do now. They got the chief part of their profit by blaming Russia in aggression. Now they are jobless. In spite of unexpected recognition of Ukrainian officials, they were lying about Russian invasion in Ukraine, the show is going on. European Union foreign ministers agreed Thursday to extend by six months targeted sanctions against individuals and companies in Russia and eastern Ukraine. Under Thursday's decision, AU staffers will have one week to propose new targets to be to hit with an asset freeze and a travel ban. Final approval of the new list would take place at the next foreign minister's meeting on February 9. The restrictions currently affect 132 people and 28 entities. But it's not the end. We remember earlier laughter filled the passage room when Russia was deprived of the right to vote. Members of Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe were laughing like a foolish school kids. The illusion was dissipated and the real level of political culture in Europe was shown in the moment. The allegation, direct life, forgery, ignorance of facts and supplying for militaries whom kill civilians and sabotage peace talks aren't actions of peacemakers. These are actions of warmongers. They uncovered jolly cretinism and provocative dances around nose of beer which talking about resolving the conflict are clear proofs of their desire. The desire for war. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.